As I'm sure you know, Eos is the ancient Greek goddess of the dawn. It's also the name of a brand new model in the Volkswagen range. It's a little bit bigger than a Golf and a little bit smaller than a Passat. There's a 1.6 litre petrol engine, a 2 litre diesel and this 2 litre turbo petrol unit. Come the autumn, there's going to be a range topping 3.2 litre V6. Volkswagen call it an affordable dream car. So far, the only thing dreamy has been this music. But it's not as dull as I first thought. This new coupe has a folding hard top. The extremely complex mechanism breaks into five different pieces, so it takes up less space in the boot, which means it doesn't have a big bum like some other hard top convertibles. The bad thing is, it takes an age to operate. With summer coming, this is just the sort of novelty car from a dependable manufacturer that people love to buy. But should you? Well, I'm in Greece, and in the spirit of the country, I'm taking this car on a marathon. That's 26 miles through coastal roads, congested streets, villages and mountains. It's not enough to just have a fancy roof. If you buy one, you've got to live with it all year round. Not just the occasional sunny summer day. So, I'm going to tell you what it's like to actually live with this car. Firstly, if you buy a new EOS, well, you're paying premium prices. They start at 19,000 and head all the way up to 28 grand for the top of the range, fully spec model. And for that kind of dough, you want to make damn sure it's a nice place to be and it's fun to drive. Now, the roads in Greece are a little bit rough, even though we're on a main road. Now, all cabriolets suffer from a condition called scuttle shake, and that's because there's no roof. The dashboard and the steering wheel gets a judder, and uh, I have to say, this is better than most, actually. It's quite refined. We've got the same engine as the Golf GTI. And in terms of 0 to 60, well, it gets there in 7.8 seconds, which is about a second quicker than the Megane equivalent, and also quicker than the Vauxhall Twin Top. And when the 3.2 litre V6 comes out, well, that's going to blow everything away. So, it handles fairly well, and it's quicker than the competition. What started out as a novelty car is doing all right. Now, the inside, well, it's typical Volkswagen. Everything works very well, looks good, a bit plain, but, um, you know, I can see echoes of Golf and echoes of Passat in here. Uh, and that's no bad thing, you know. The fit and finish is very, very good. Nice use of materials, very, very few cheap plastics. It's a nice place to be. Now, when I first saw the new EOS, I thought it might be a bit middle of the road, a bit bland. But after spending a day in it, with the roof down, the sun shining, and a few tunes. I like it. It's got a great feel to it. It's quality. Should you buy one? Hell, why not?